Hello all, Brian here, Spontaneous Creations. Um, been playing with the 3D printer. I, I made this cup and I did a, a painting with this cup. And it didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted it, but it ended up being a nice painting. My, my next cup just started printing. It's going to take 25 hours for the next one to print. So don't expect a video with it for a couple days. Anyway, my second one was this. It's a same concept, cup inside of a cup inside of a cup. Only these got, I made these taller and put little spouts on them. But I made the, the thickness of the plastic too thick. And it's got two little holes in the spout on each one of them. So that's not a good print. Cup to have around though. My third one, I decided to test it out a little bit better, make it smaller. On this one, it's too small and flimsy. Um, the spouts aren't quite right, and what I tried to do was make it to where they were separate cups, to where you could snap them into each other. But my little peg thing, whoop, the peg that's supposed to be in the bottom of this for these ones to snap onto broke off because it was just too too tiny. So that's more plastic just laying around I guess. But when I was designing all these on there I, I made this. This is just a star shape with a little mound and a snowflake shape with a little dip. It's just little piece of plastic. I was thinking something along the lines of a bottle bottom pour. So, that print's going to take 25 hours. I'm going to do this painting right now. What I got is a, what is this? A 10 inch round. And my little star thing, I put a puddle of white on there. And put that little star thing right in the center. And get it right in the center, like that. And put these. So no cut pour today. Anyway, that's how the progress on those cups are going. Um, cup garage posse paint. Winter's lavender. Arctic ice teal. Nate's Stormy Weather, Snow White Iridescent Pearl, Gold Rush, Allen's Red, and some Moody Blue Shimmer. And those are all the Parage Posse paints. And I'm going to use them on this, on this thing, whatever I'm doing. And it's Creative Inspirations Titanium White is what I used for the base. But, oh, I haven't really shooken these up. Some of these have, I'm pretty sure all of these have silicone in them. But we're going to go right in the center. I don't think the snowflake uh shape is gonna mean much I'm gonna throw some gold on there I think that it didn't get nothing there let's do this Throw some red on there. That's the angle of the camera with me pouring the paints right there like that. Mike, you are being bad. Neat 
great stormy weather. So far, so good. Choose lavender. And let's do a, another shot of white in there. Okay. Give it a second to flow out there for a second. Just because, just because. Now I really haven't thought about what the center is going to do yet. Um, I guess we'll see. The 3D printing is really frustrating. Designing the models and stuff is frustrating. Make a mistake and you gotta start over. You make a mistake and you gotta start over. Um, let's see. Uh, this one here. Then I went white again. No. Went with the purple. Do the purple on there. I did not count how many petals. You can try. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen petals. Did not think about how I was going to get that off of there either without messing things up. Oh, uh, what do I got handy? This is a little wrench thing. Okay, that worked out. That worked out okay. So now we're going to tilt. Bring it up to you. And get it to, if I can get it to move like on a pillow. want to get this all wonky.
I know if I go too fast, I'm going to get it wonky, but... Wonky! That's a weird word. I don't know. I guess I might have people in other countries that watch me that don't know English all that well. What would wonky be? Messed up. Get all zigzaggier. Look at that center. That center doing stuffs. All the way back to the middle. I don't want those wavy lines in there. Hey. There's a big gap right there, huh? Can I do that without messing stuff up? Now I heard somebody say once that you don't want to cent center your uh, pour like this unless you're sure it's going to turn out. If you're sure it's going to turn out and you're going to have a, a really nice center. I'm going to have to say that looks pretty good. I realize I went a little bit farther off this side than I did here, but it's not evenly. I don't know what to say. I dig that. Uh, 
I hope you guys like that one. Where is my torch? Because I need to torch it just a little bit. Okay, a little bit more than a little bit, but so that center there from far away it looks like it's there's a head there but it I don't know if I can get it this close you pull it up and you really look at that center there's all kinds of little faces in there I don't know if anybody else sees that or not if it's coming out on camera good or not but I think my 15 petal bottle bottoms 3D printed toy worked. I think that worked out well. That might be the best bottle bottom pour I've seen ever. I know it's not a, or not that I've seen, that I've done. I've seen really, really nice ones. Um, I'm going to have to say score. Really like the Nate's, uh, what is it? What's it called? Nate's Stormy Weather. I like that blue and the moody, moody blue shimmer. All them colors work in there. Yep. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching my video. I will get some cups printed and do what I'm going to do with those and do some more cup 3D printed cup pours. The sides of this are pretty cool too. Okay, I better in this. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified when I do another one. Have a good Super Bowl.